Hello everyone, my name is Michaela Susi and you are currently watching CHS 18 News. Today we will be discussing the current debates regarding gun control and immigration. Now, on to Sarah Ali for the topic of gun control. Thank you, Michaela. The recent school shootings have sparked debate about gun control. With most recent school shootings taking place in Noblesville, Indiana, gun control activists have been taking the streets in protest. There have been 23 school shootings in 2018, which averages out to one school shooting in a week. Many students are taking to social media their concerns and using various hashtags such as if I die in a school shooting and what if that have gained national attention. With limited action ta taken from the president, students have taken a vital role in the promotion of gun reform. To further expand on the issue of gun control, here's a current student at Centennial High School to share her opinion about gun control. Hi Maddie class, how are you doing? Hi, um, I'm doing good. I think that gun control is a necessity in our country, specifically further legislation and regulation of those who sell guns as well as the black market. I think it's imperative to the safety of our children. Thank you so much, Maddie Class. Hi, Josue. So how do you feel that Centennial High School has prepared you in case of a school shooting? I feel like the school has been really prepared for a school shooting. The majority of the practices that we've been been doing or like fire alarms, earthquake drills or or like an intruder coming in but really nothing like an intruder that within us like a like a school shooting student so I think we don't have I think we need more practices like if a student like one of us was a school shooter and how would that react and how would we be able to be be prepared for that thank you so much for your time this has the debate about gun control united or divided your school? I feel like the debate on gun control has united our school a little bit more because we all know that this is something that's needed and this is something that could possibly happen to us. So as we move forward, we've all been kind of just unifying as one you know, student body rather than just being all separately divided. Thank you, Renelle. In the past year, immigration control has been a major topic, especially regarding undocumented children. Recent news has revealed that at least 1,475 children have been lost by the United States government since being separated from their parents. This number is based on approximately 7,000 children. All of the missing children arrived at the border unaccompanied by an adult with a sponsor remaining elsewhere in the United States. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has stated that all persons who attempt to cross the border illegally will be prosecuted, regardless if they are potential asylum seekers. Additionally, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA, which is a program allowing undocumented children who were brought to America to work and attend school. With President Trump threatening to end the program, Nearly 700,000 young people will no longer be protected to remain in the United States, being sent back to a country they may have no recollection of. Here is CHS 18 News and we are signing off. Good night and goodbye. See you all tomorrow at 5 a.m. for the morning news updates regarding the presidential agenda.